Hello and welcome to this Host Monster control panel demonstration. This video has been put together as part of my Host Monster review, which you can find at www.hostmonster-the-review.com. So, as you can see now on the screen, I've just logged into my Host Monster control panel, and this is what you'll get access to if you decide to sign up with Host Monster. Now you'll be able to see that it's the standard cPanel control panel that's used by a number of web hosts but HostMonster have created their own custom theme as you can see from the header and the, the overall layout of the control panel. So at the top of the page we have two boxes that you won't see with other hosts and it's called Partners and Promotional. Now these two top boxes that I'm just highlighting here are all promotional offers from HostMonster. So if for example you sign up for the $50 of AdWords credit, HostMonster will receive a commission. So bear that in mind before using any of those services. But if we go down to underneath those promotional items, you can see that we have all of the usual cPanel options. Um, for example we've got the change password option, change language and so on. We've then got the email settings which allows you to add and edit email accounts. Um, I won't actually click on that because then you'd be able to see all my email addresses and no doubt I'd be inundated with spam. Uh, you can also add email forwards, autoresponders and so on. Then if we go down again you can see we've got the files, the online file manager for example, you've also got the backup wizard, you've got the disk space usage um, overview and you can also set up a web disk. Um, again you've got FTP accounts and all of the usual things you'd expect to find in a hosting control panel. And as it's the C panel, you should already be familiar with it, I'd say that at least 80% of hosts will use the cPanel control panel and it is personally my favourite control panel just because everything's so easily, laid, um, so easily laid out sorry, and everything's so easy to use and if you do get stuck as it's um, a widely used control panel you can find a lot of help documents online so that's also uh, something to take into account so if we go down again you've got the um sorry I've just skipped one haven't I you've got the logs and you can view your website visitor stats you can view your latest visitors you can um, view the bandwidth and so on then if we go down we've also got the security which allows you to password protect directories also gives you options for sss ssh or shell access and you can also deny certain ip addresses um, from visiting your website. You've then got the domain names option where you can set up additional domains so you can host um, an unlimited number of domains on one account remember so if you'd like to do that all you'd need to do is click on the add on domains option I'll just do that now just to show you and then that will take us to the domains option so all you need to do is type in the domain um, choose the add on domain choose a directory, click on the add domain button and that's all done for you. So I'm just going to go back to the home page. Sorry for whizzing through this but I've got to try and keep it quite short as I'm going to put this on YouTube and they don't like very long large videos. But hopefully I'm showing you everything here that you need to know. Then we've uh, underneath the domain names we've got the databases so if you're running any scripts, um, WordPress, Jamula, Drupal for example, you'd need to set up a database and you do that simply by clicking on the databases link which I'll do now and then you simply create a new database and then that's done. Again you've got, um, if you do get stuck, you've got a lot of help documents that will show you how to use everything. You've also got access to PHP by admin if you'd like to do any custom um, creation for your database. Then you've got um, the built-in scripts. So we've got simple scripts which is actually exclusive to HostMonster. And you've also got Fantastico which I'll click on. And as I'm sure you're probably already aware um, this allows you to install a number of popular scripts which you can see 
down this left hand side with a simple click of a button saves you having to create the databases and do any uploading yourself so that's fantastico I'll go back and right at the bottom you've got some advanced options which allows you to view the server status um, submit support requests, set up cron jobs and manage the front page extensions amongst other things so I'll just click on the server status as an example and it says account successfully added to your monitor is ok you can see the server loads ok and there are no known issues so let's go back to the home page and get off this easier said than done Oops. Should try one more time before we log out and log in again come on take us back So that won't let me go back, so I'm just going to go and log in again from the home page. Sorry about this, but you can tell this video is being recorded live. <laughs> so logging in again. Uh, click here to go to the hosting. And we're back in. Uh, so I think that's about pretty much all I needed to show you. You have, of course, got um, the certificate statistics easy for me to say down the left hand side so you can see the total number of um, the total amount of disk space that you've used you can view your transfer limit your bandwidth you can view the email accounts subdomains pack domains add-on domains FTP accounts number of databases you've created you can also see when your account expires which is quite um, useful uh, you've got all of the server information, you've got the cPanel version and build uh, and so on but that's pretty much everything you need to um, see in the control panel so I think that will bring to an end this video so thanks for watching and if you'd like to read my full review of HostMonster where I look at the price, the reliability the control panel that you've just seen and I'll also be giving you a full review of what the support is like from HostMonster so if you'd like to check out that review if you just look to the right of the page if you're watching this in YouTube there's a link and if not you can go there manually by visiting www.hostmonster-the-review.com so thanks for listening and hopefully you'll head on over and read the review